How's, how's finals treating you guys? Well, I already got done with my finals. Really? Pretty good though, yeah. Now, your finals been good. Uh, got done early, earlier this week. Just kind of took all the moon one day. I take online classes, so kind of can breeze through them real quick. And, uh, focus on focus on basketball. So. How much of a relief is it to kind of get it off your back? And oh, no, nah, it's, it's definitely good. I mean, you know, t hours of studying, then taking the test, you know, finally just being done with it for my first college semester. So, you know, it's, it's good. So it was good. definitely good. Yeah, it definitely feels like weight being lifted off our shoulders. It's definitely like our schedule. We got practice, lift, treatment. So the finals is just another thing that we didn't really need on our schedule. <laughs> <All the D. laughs> Eric, I mean, this was your first uh, semester of college. I mean, how, how do you feel like you handled, you know, basketball and practice and class and social? And, I mean, how, how do you feel like you, your first semester of college went? Uh, I, I just want, I actually want to give credit to IMG. Uh, I feel like IMG was kind of ran like a college. Uh, you know, we, we had three classes a day, kind of like college. And, um, you know, the schedule was kind of the same, basketball in the morning, uh, school in the afternoon, or vice versa. And I think that just really prepared me to make this easy transition uh, just with the schedule for the most part. Uh, and I think um, no, I handled it pretty good this first semester, so hopefully do the same thing next one. Isaiah, your college debut had been a long time coming. What was it like finally getting out there? Um, a relief. I feel like every time like it was time for me to like show the world I could like play basketball, like something happened. So like finally getting like my jitters out, being on the court with my teammates, and like doing everything I feel like I've been trying to prepare for. You know, it was kind of like I don't know, just, it's just a blessing to like finally get a chance now. So you you stepped on somebody's foot pre New Orleans. Yeah. So kind of just tell us the story of how how so that. Like, at first, I had a little um, hip bruise from like our exhibition game, so I had a hip bruise, and then it was kind of messing with me, like 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 moving lateral. So like I had to take time off for that. Then when I got ready to come back, we had a game home and a shoot around and warm ups. Uh, I was shooting and then I stepped on my teammate's ankle. I mean, when I stepped on his like, like his like bridge of his foot, and I rolled my ankle. Then after that, I, was, I already knew. And I was like, damn, it's over. But it was good after, cause like it was actually a fast recovery. It was way worse like at first, and it was like two days after. So I don't know. I'm still trying to get back healthy with that. I feel like I'm like 85 percent. Hopefully, be 100 in like two days. Get ready for this next one. Just move on from there. What were the emotions of that? Like, I imagine you, you've got all this, you know, yeah, energy. Like I, said, I thought I was like, it's over. Like, like that's what it was in my head. Like, I wasn't gonna play, but it was. I don't know. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was actually not that bad at all. <laughs> your uh, your situation coming to Oklahoma State, obviously rolling in C State early, you didn't play there. Kind of what stood out about Oklahoma State for for you to transfer here? Um, kind of just the coaching staff, really. Like, um. Everything they were telling me, they wasn't trying to sugarcoat anything. They just kept everything like, uh, like straightforward and like was transparent about everything. So it's probably pretty easy to make my decision. Like when it's like everything is in front of you, and you don't have to like really ask too much about like what's happening behind the scenes because like they already like told you. So like I feel like we're all on the same page here. Like we all want the same end goal. So that's pretty much why I'm here. You being from the Northeast, a lot of the, the staff is from the Northeast. How how long have you known these guys? Um, well, they started recruiting me like early on in high school, probably like like the end of my sophomore year going into like my junior year. So we pretty much just always talked since then and like kind of like built our relationship from there. And then when like the NC State uh, thing all happened, like it was pretty easy to like, to like fall back on like somebody that can like, un like talk to you and keep everything like straightforward with you. So it was pretty easy to make my decision coming here. Cause like Coach Mike and Coach uh, Rencher and all, all of them, they just keep everything straightforward with you. They don't try to hide anything. What was your perspective of the first month? You know, kind of being on the sidelines, still going through practice, still going to mm -hmm. film, sure. But just what, what was your perspective of what, I, um, what the team was doing on the court? Oh, I see Stare here. Here. Um, I feel like it was actually, it was, it was good for me to like, not that it was good for me to get hurt or anything, but it was good for me to kind of like sit back, and like observe like what, like where the team struggles and like, like what we have problems doing. So like when I came in, it wasn't like, like a big like shock. I knew pretty much everything by the time it was ready for me to play. So I don't know, just still trying to get the feel of like the game with my teammates and still try to build that chemistry is I feel like is the biggest thing for me right now. Eric, in these last you know, couple of games before conference play, what, what, is there something y'all are kind of focused on? We want to improve these things or we want to focus on these the last you know, three or four games of the non-conference? Um, I think just, you know, playing 40 minutes of great basketball. I 
think that's one thing we're trying to, you know, just stress. You know, we're a young team and we're a new team as well. So, uh, you know, we just take the first half of the season just to learn a lot of things from each game. Each game we did something good. Each game we got something to work on. Um, so, uh, I think just, you know, when we put it all together, we're going to be a great team. And uh, the second half of the season, you know, going into conference play, we see what we had uh, in non-conference. We see the mistakes we made and, you know, work on those things. And, um, you know, we'll go have, have some uh, <clears throat> have some things to uh, go into conference with. And I uh, feel like we got, we're going to shock a lot of people. That's what, that's what I think. Where does that confidence come from? That that you know we're gonna shock, we're gonna come back. I mean, what, what do you think that you know? Uh, just you? reps, reps removed out. So reps as a team, you know, uh, playing more games, you only get more comfortable with your teammates. Just like Zay said, uh, you know, he's back now, so we have him and uh, practice more, and you know, get more reps with him as well. And um, just everybody really just understanding their role better as the games go on. I mean, we played nine games so far, and we got a lot more to go. So. Uh, you know, just day by day, that's all we can do. Get better each practice. We can't hang our heads down or nothing. Just uh, just keep continuing to get better because we got a long way to go. I imagine this is, for, for a lot of you guys, high-level recruits and stuff like that, this is the first time that you guys have lost maybe this much this early in a season. How mentally have you handled that? Um, I mean, you know, you, you don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose. And, uh, you know, like you said, you know, some people, a lot of people on our team came from schools where they were winning a lot. And um, probably the guy that was helping to win. And, um, you know, college is way different. Uh, I read an a article, and it was uh, saying how freshmen coming in, uh, I think it sounded like it was like the five-star freshman averages 9.3 points a game. But the five-star transfer averages 15.4 points a game. And um, that just shows you right there that college is getting older. And, um, you know, the freshmen are, you know, freshmen, real freshmen uh, again. And, um, you know, we just, we have a lot of freshmen on this team. You know, we got transfers as well. So uh, it just shows you that, you know, it's a change in, in college sports. And we've got to change with the with the game as well. So uh, that just allows us to grow up more. Uh, the young guys grow up more and the older guys, you know, continue to do what they do. And um, helping us grow as well. So I just feel like just, just confidence, Playing with our team, just that's going to be the main thing. Just uh, getting better as a team, working on the little things, and the the fixes that we have are, are little fixes. Like it's not like drastic changes that we have to make. Just little things. Uh, some things we just got to focus more on. Some some things we got to just get away from a little bit. And uh, when we put it all together, we're gonna we're gonna definitely shot some people. And I see the potential in the team. And everybody else uh, on our team sees the potential as well. When we watch film, you know, things look good. And just, uh, you know, just play 40 minutes of good basketball. That's that's the name of the game. It might be awkward talking about him because he's right there. But but what can Isaiah bring to this team? Y'all y'all seen him jump before? <laughs> his athleticism, uh, you know, his energy. I saw him. I think we was playing last game. We played the zone, and I was at the bottom of the zone, and he was at the top. And I saw him do this. I was like, yo, <laughs> and he moving like he's 6'2". I'm like, bro, this is crazy. Like, he switched off into a big, I mean, to a guard, and the guard just threw the ball back to the next man. I'm like, yeah, like, we going to have that defensively. He going to yeah. be a rim protector. You know, like, we, we got some, he going to bring a lot of good pieces to the uh, to the team as well. Just got a thing, thing with him, just staying consistent. We all need that. We all got to stay consistent, but I think for him, just staying consistent with uh, those things and just uh, knowing that we need them. So, as you mentioned, your lateral quickness with your hip earlier, is that a learned thing? Is that just kind of come natural to you? Um, I don't know. Like since I was younger, like I don't know, I've always been into like soccer, like different sports like that. Like had to move lateral. I even played tennis for like a year when I was younger. I was just bored, but <laughs> um, yeah, like moving lateral. That's just always been a natural thing. I don't know. When I was even developing, like, as a younger, like, kid, like, my AAU coaches, they never, like, had me, like, too much back to the basket. So I feel like I had a lot of freedom with, like, the style of play I wanted to get into. So I, I would find myself guarding a lot of guards in practice, like, trying to bring up the ball and see what I could do there. So I feel like they always just try to, like, keep me diverse. So I feel like that's where that came from. But, like, it just happened naturally. It wasn't, like, in, like forced on me or anything. How were you as a tennis player? 
I don't know. I was like <laughs> 11, but I feel like I was pretty good. Had a nice little back <laughs> I imagine you didn't have to move very far. Nah. Even as an 11 year old. Just in the yeah. Right there. <laughs> Do you feel comfortable like being able to you know, move the back, bring the basketball up the court, and, and kind of? Uh, um, I feel there? like we got decent guards that can do that. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. That's the guard's job. But I don't know. It's Big Twelve. Like those guys are gonna get in there and steal it. So I'll just stick to my screen and roll action, screen <laughs> and pop, get a dub. What's it like going against Brandon and uh, Mike in practice? Uh, it's actually really fun. Like we all push each other really hard. Even when he's in the rotation with us with the bigs, like we all just pushing each other. Like trying to like reach our like climax of like our potential. So I feel like it's great having Big Mike too because he's like, a little bit more experienced than all of us, like coming from like a different school, like being like a, a grad transfer and stuff. So like he just teaches us like a different aspect of the game. Like there's only so much like um, like our coaches can like tell us, but like like he's actually like been through it for like the last like five years and like seeing like kind of like every end of the game for them. So like, he, sh he shows us a lot, teaches us a lot, like during practice. So that's a good like addition. And then BG, he he's like same boat as me and EJ. We all still learn it. So and Justin, we all still learn it. So like it's fun like just seeing like the progress from like the beginning of the season to now. Like, we all just got way better. Might be a weird question. Mm -hmm. When like in high school, do you feel or when when you start when you realize you're bigger than everybody else, you're not you're not, you're not a point guard size. Mm -hmm. Do you have to train differently? Do you have to do a wor workout or in practice differently than a you know, six um, five guy versus you know as, as a seven footer? Kind of. I mean, when I started playing basketball, I was already like six five, six six. Like it was like my freshman year, for like in high school. So like, like I said, like the coaches I was with, they didn't really put a cap on me. Like they just let me do like whatever I felt comfortable doing. They just let me do. Well, I feel like I should have had more discipline because. Nah, I'd be finding myself like trying to do some things I really shouldn't do, but. Bro, wait, you were 6'6 in freshman year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hit 6'6 like that in my freshman year. Yeah. Dang, <laughs> but yeah, they just never put a cap on me. So, like, I feel like as I'll get older and seeing, like, oh, that's not going to work as much as I thought, like, I find myself trying to, like, learn more of, like, the, like, the post game, like, just watching different players in the league that like have different like skills in the post like not always just back to the basket like seeing where like I could get my diversity and like like make my own game in the post you know because I imagine you haven't had many seven foot coaches that have been able to like, yeah. show you here's what I did when yeah, I was definitely, playing. Yeah. yeah but I, I just take in information from everybody it's been helping me a lot why'd you wait until your freshman year to start playing basketball I don't know like I feel like well, I tried out my eighth grade year, and then when I didn't make it, that's when I really didn't want to play anymore. But then I grew like, like crazy, like, like I wasn't six six in my eighth grade year. I was like six feet. So like, my freshman year when I grew, I was like, nah, I gotta, gotta start playing. I didn't even make the varsity team either. I was like on the freshman team, and like, after that, uh, I had like a little like clip from like my freshman year of like dunking, and like uh, that's when my AU coach from R A L E found me and was like. Nah, you gotta take this serious. And I was trying to like hide away, like didn't want to like do anything because I like heard like a bunch of like the best guys in the state were playing for like the team and stuff. So I didn't want to play for them. But then he like kind of like, he's like, no, like you're six six in public high school. You're not playing for any team. Like, what are you doing? So then after he got me into like prep schools and stuff, and that's how that whole process started. But I don't know. Yeah, I was I was six six freshman, just trying to get it done, man. That's all you. Yeah. I'm six eight. Yeah, my freshman year I was like six two, <laughs> like six six two six three. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs>